one of the things um, that's kind of nice about having strong terms and boundaries is that there's a lot of these relationships don't get overbearing. If a woman knows that there's a line, you say, I'm not, a, you know, I'm available on Mondays and usually that's all I, I'm available. I'm, I'm busy during the week or please don't call me. Don't stop by without calling first. You set some boundaries up. It preempts overbearing relationships. If you set, set the structure early and she understands that, she, there's no way for her to encroach and try to, try to take over your life but, you know, whatever, in whatever element or manifestation that is. So setting boundaries prevents or preempts too much encroachment on our, on our personal freedom as men, uh, which of course leads to increased autonomy. You can basically operate as you would uh, and enjoy what you want and not apologize for stuff. Okay, this is, these are key tools to live by when you're single and things to certainly keep in mind in a relationship. I think a relationship enters into a mutual ground where there is compromise, but many successful relationships continue because there's polarity and the man behaves as a man and the woman behaves as a woman and there's not a neutralization of that. There's strong boundaries within the relationship still. So I think this, this, uh, both of these exist even in the context of a marriage situation. And if you get to the state through, through taking action on this course, you, uh, you'll have a new class of female friends, but the great thing is they're always open to having sex with you. They're basically ex-lovers and you can learn stuff from them, etc. I have now many more ex-lovers in my life or current ex slash current lovers, female friends than I ever have. Um, but there's always a sexual overtone and there's always the possibility of sex if I want it. So it's a nice if, I, if I'm on a casual tip and I don't want to gear it up to try and hustle a girl, I can spend time with, with one of these girls and, and get a lot of uh, female perspective, etc. But it still has that nice flavor and, and spice of, of sexual potential. And of course, the whole point of all this is that sex becomes more available and is, is a very real and direct consequence of implementing this.